when a wildfire rips through forests and trees, it has devastating impacts on the surrounding air, wildlife and ecosystem. As reforestation efforts continue across the country, one Mississauga based company is helping out using new technology. So in a nutshell, Flash Forest is a drone reforestation company. We fire uh, rapidly germinating seed pods into the ground after forest fires so that we can accelerate the scale and the pace of reforestation. It's an idea co-founder Cameron Jones credits to his brother and business partner Bryce. Bryce and I grew up in Kelowna and behind our house was the Okanagan Mountain Park and it burned in about 2003 and it wasn't replanted. That forest has never recovered, it's just brush grass. And so Bryce, as a tree planter, was thinking about ways that we can use technology to fix the environment. The company first maps out a site using drones to identify areas suitable for planting. They then collect soil samples and adjust the mixtures in their specialized seed pods to ensure the best chance of survival before the pods are loaded onto the drones. Each one holds about 1,600 pods and then it shoots five pods a second. Rapid fire right into the soil. Rapid fire. They will then monitor the progress of the pods in the months and years following. Joan says the goal is to induce 1,500 seedlings per hectare. Flash Forest, now in its third year of operation, just recently secured a $1.3 million contract with the federal government as part of its 2 billion trees commitment. They've planted pods in Thunder Bay and Kenora, as well as several areas in BC and in Fort McMurray, Alberta. You might remember the, the Horse River fire that happened about six years ago. Uh, so we planted that actually, and that's a site that hadn't been coming back. So we used our tech there and we also want to do Manitoba and hopefully the Maritimes as well. And it doesn't stop there. Flash Forest hopes to plant in impacted areas in the U.S. next year with other international destinations to follow. For a link with more information on the company, head to citynews.ca slash extras. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.